It's so 17,000 feet, we're going to need just about every bit of it. Big Yeller. The rocket is sponsored by UMERGE, the Upper Midwest Experimental Rocket Group, which includes myself, Phil Simis, Brian Elford, Scott Jones, help me out here, Gary Stroik, Steve Anderson, Mike Koppelman, Rob Gregar, and Greg Osed, and Pat Arnson, who is absent. Uh, and Tom Twight, and we cannot forget our Cub Scout, or our Scout Master, Master Knot Tire. If the parachutes fall off, it's his fault. Tom Twight. This rocket is 17 and a half feet tall, weighs 180 pounds. It's a black and yellow rocket. You all guys can see way out there at the end. It has an O4500 in it for an engine. Expected an altitude somewhere around 16,000 feet. Has dual deploy main set mains at either 1,000 or 800 feet. On board, we have an ARTS and a G-Wiz for recovery. We have a download GPS, which may or may not be working right now. We also have an onboard camera. And we got a rocket hunter in there. Uh, this is also an experimental rocketry, Tripoli, Minnesota record attempt. And everything looks good. I don't see any airplanes around. Okay. Our pad is armed. 16,000 feet, 04500. The biggest amateur rocket ever flown in the state of Minnesota is going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Launch. There we go. Come on, baby! There's a, there we got, shoot, we got our drogue. Ah, oh, couldn't ask for a more beautiful flight. Oh, I know it. Oh, oh yeah, we got a nice little shadow. Well, I hope it's just a shadow. Okay, we're pretty much falling straight down, so uh, we're going to keep an eye on this. We might end up in our lap. Uh, rocket hunter stayed on board. Gary, how about telemetry? Did we get anything? Or are you not looking at it? You're the cameraman. Okay. Okay, we do have an onboard camera on here, so we'll be able to show videos later. And the main is set, the first charge is set for a thousand feet, second charge is the redundancy is set for 800 feet. Yeah, wait till we haul it back. Uh, by the way, we're going to need some volunteers to go haul it back. I volunteer. Yeah, it's coming in real close, isn't it? If anybody hasn't noticed, that is probably one of the best parachutes on the market right there on that. On that rocket, that is a rocket man parachute. Yeah, as long as I'm plugging other people's stuff here, I have a book up here that was written by Ken Kruger about his times in World War II. Was it Ken? Yeah, we have these books are for sale for twenty dollars a piece. I have one up here at the LCO table. If anybody wants to come in and check it out, uh, Ken has a few for sale. We're at about a thousand feet right now. Hey, how about that? Did I call it on the nuts or what? And there with the redundant chart. Yeah. All right, that is what you call a picture perfect flight, everybody. You could not ask for a better flight than that. And, uh, and I don't think we're gonna have to walk very far to get it either, guys. Oh. second I want to thank everybody that came to witness this and like I said again this was the biggest rocket ever flown by amateur group in Minnesota 
It was 100% successful. Couldn't ask for a better motor, couldn't ask for a better flight, couldn't ask for a better day. So I'd like to thank the guy upstairs for giving us today. Woo! I'm going to turn it back over to Brian. We'll move back on to the uh, littler stuff. <laughs> think Ted's dirt with no balls. Six, six. Okay, mine's even harder to try to probably win. Look at the little guy who's cut down. Go on the other side and look at him. Sit on the ground on the other side and look at him. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,